people. It's personal between me, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. He has a concert, so we got to keep it short. He has a concert. He's singing, he's singing later tonight. No, great, great fight, great performance. Man, I mean, you know, the fans got their money's worth today. They really did. They got their money's worth, and, um, you know, how do you feel? How do you feel after going to war like that? You know, I mean, you kept hitting this guy with all these punches, and he kept landing on you, and it was, you know, back and forth. How does it feel to be through that? Well, are you tired? How do you feel? I feel great. I feel great. A uh, little tired. Uh, yeah, I, wanna, I think I want to get a good rest <laughs> tonight. And uh, he, he took all my punches. Yeah, he took all my punches. Uh, yeah, 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 a little bit. The uh, last uh, three rounds. Uh, it's, uh, it's worth it. Did he ever hurt you? Did you ever feel like he hurt you? Because he landed some big punches on you. I mean, I can take punches. Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. Yeah, but uh, he, he hit hard. Yeah, he, he hit hard. And I mean, it was a great performance. I knew that he wanna came really prepared for this fight because uh, he, don't, he didn't have nothing to lose. He just had a lot to win. I mean, um, I mean, uh, it's, it's, it was a great show, a great performance. Um, so algo muy bueno para la gente aquí en San Antonio. Creo que que la gente ganó el público y, y pues yo también contento porque ahora voy por la pelea de título del mundo contra el mundo. He, he, I'll translate that. He said he's very, very happy that he put on a good performance for the fans here in San Antonio. They seemed happy, uh, and he's excited that he's the number one mandatory now for the champion of mm. uh, Dimitri Bivol. Eric, you, um, you mentioned Bivol. Um, I wanted to ask Zoro. Uh, Zoro, do you feel like tonight with Unieski you were able to show more of those of those boxing skills? Because you're more of a you're you're known more for being a seek and destroy like Mexican fighter. Do you feel like you show your boxing skills tonight in the fight? Yeah, I think I, 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 I proved that I'm ready for a title fight. I'm ready for Bivol to to beat it and have power for this division. And, and I mean, uh, the, the question is if he's ready for me. <laughs> and he wants to. Yeah, if he wants it. Next. Hey, can still... Go ahead, John. John. Eric, uh, Zerto, take me back to the first round. It looked like he came out throwing bombs from the opening bell and got your attention. What was going through your mind when he, he was hitting you with some big punches right off the bat? Well, at the beginning, I tried to uh, switch him back to and try to like knock him out early. I couldn't because he can take punches. He's a warrior, and he came really prepared for this fight. I mean, it's a uh, it was a honor to fight him. It was a honor to fight here in San Antonio to dedicate the pe the people this fight to dedicate uh, uh, Vicente Fernandez. I mean, the, the people was happy for this fight. Um, Zordo, there was a, there was a really good fight last night in the light heavyweight division with uh, Artur Berbiev. I don't know I don't know if you saw it, but um, he's a very hard hitting fighter. You're a very hard hitting fighter. Uh, what, what, what do you think about a matchup with like Artur Berbiev? I think he's a, a, a great fighter. He's a great fighter. I saw him and I saw the uh, Marcus Brown, and he didn't deserve to to win because he was so scared to fight uh, Berbiev. He didn't throw. He didn't throw a, a good combination. He just like was standing there. Yeah, yeah. In a, a, and, yeah, and he gets like big cuts, uh, a better beat, and he, 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 was, he did good. He's a warrior. Are you surprised with all the shots that you hit him with that he was as durable and set up to as many shots as he did? Because I mean, he was eating big shots the entire night. Of course, I was really surprised. <laughs> People were surprised too that he can take a lot of punches. Te ganaste el derecho de enfrentar al campeón MMA Dimitri Bivol. La meta para ti sería enfrentar a Canelo Álvarez o te da igual. Mira, esa pelea yo creo que se puede dar en un futuro eh, en su de baja división, pero la meta es obtener todos los títulos en esta división de las 135 libras, pero un libra por libra para mí. Entonces primero, por ejemplo, sería si vences a Bivol, vete el viejo, o que sea así campeón. Es, así es, por los campeonatos primero y, y él, pues Can Canelo quiere campeona, cam ser campeón también, entonces no va a haber de otra manera que, que 
pelear conmigo también y, y yo creo que lo está haciendo muy bien, lo está haciendo bien, está, quiere hacer historia, subir la división, pelear por otro título y como mexicanos pues estamos con él. Um, the question, I'll try and take that. So the question was, you know, obviously you're the man of turn to be born. Would you like to face Canelo? And uh, Surdo said, look, you know, right now I want to win the title. I want to win the title. Of course, I feel that that fight could be made, but my, my goal right now is to win all the titles. And then I can merit that fight. And Canelo will be wanting to fight me because he's going to want to come and take my belts and be a champion. So. I think that it can be done in the future. Uh, right now, I'm proud of Canelo, what he's done. And as a Mexican, I support him. Uh, but yes, obviously, I mean, that fight can be done in the future. Zerlo, uh, Joe Smith Jr. is gonna defend his WBO belt against Callum Johnson next month. Let's say you can't get the, uh, the bull fight right off the bat. What do you think about a potential fight against Joe Smith Jr.? Of course, I'm ready. I'm ready, me and, and Golden Moore, we're ready to take all the belts and we just need the opportunity to fight them. Eric, how do you feel like you match up specifically against the bull? Where do you feel like you can exploit him? Oh, you, uh, I think you saw the fight, the last fight he did, <laughs> and he was nothing, nothing surprised. And I think I can beat him easily. He's been, he's been very vocal with us at, at Golden Boy. He's told us, even when we first signed him, and we said that so we sat down with him and his and his manager David uh, Sue, and uh, he said bring them all. He said bring them all. I want to fight all of them. Who's the top guy? Bivol. I believe he's the Ring uh, Magazine champion. Mm -hmm. He says I want him. And if he's not available, Derby, any of the champions. So he's willing to fight anybody. He proved it tonight. Uh, you know this fight with Uneski. I mean you got to give Uneski credit. Tough fighter. Tough fighter. I mean he just took every punch. And he was still wanting to fight even when they stopped the fight. Um, he didn't have to take that fight. He, he could have fought someone easier, you know. Uh, but he said, no, that's the one I want. It's a, it's a, a you know, WBA final eliminator. Let's do it. Let's go for it. I don't want any excuses from any of the champions. You know, if I beat this guy, Yuneski, he volley has to face me. And if he doesn't want to face me, then you know what? I'll fight. He wants to fight the best. And it's, it's really refreshing for a promoter. It makes our job easy. When there's a guy like like him, a young kid, that he wants to fight the best, you know. So that's what we're going to try to get him. Uh, obviously, we're going to sit down on Monday, uh, talk to the WBA, see what the next steps are for the B1 fight. I was this is Bivol just fought recently too, so it lines up timelines up lines up perfectly. Is there a, a date, a time frame in mind, right? If, if that is going to be next, does is there a, a time frame in mind? Where we'll talk to the WBA on Monday. Um, we'll see what the procedures are. They're probably going to give us some time to negotiate, and then after that, there might be a purse bid if he, you know, still doesn't want to try to make a fight with us. He was supposed to fight me one tonight, mm -hmm. and we have been working on that for about a month, maybe five weeks, and ultimately, ultimately, we both decided not to. He didn't want to do it. He, he wanted. He had a commitment in Russia. We're not saying that he ran away, but the fight was available for him. I wouldn't want to fight either. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> the, fight, the fight was available for him. Um, but you know, whatever, we're gonna keep doing our thing. He's developing a big following. He's very exciting, as you guys saw tonight. He's willing to put everything on the line. You know, we saw a little bit of everything. He stood and fought toe to toe. And then after that, he settled down. He started using his jab a lot. And it opened up the fight for him. So he's right, he's earned it. He's earned, he's earned that right to fight any of the top champions. Zergo, you were in control tonight after maybe the first round. But was there ever a time that you didn't feel like this guy was dangerous? Well, all the time I feel that he was dangerous because he, he he's hard and, and he can form all the time try to win the fight. And all the time I was alert to, to, for him. Uh, Zoro, uh, um, what does Unieski rank as far as like the hardest punches you fought in your career so far? I think he's uh, one of the, the biggest punches. And Aitor Abraham, the guy that yeah, yeah. did that for the title belt, he, he's hard. Zoro, <laughs> your punches were very accurate. How quickly did you figure him out and going into the fight? Well, uh, uh, I think my corner, he told me well, how to do it because I have something behind me that I, sometimes we don't see the, the corner they see. And I mean, it's a great thing that I have. 
said, you know, praise God. It was a great job. Sergio, how much does the crowd help you? Could you feel the energy coming from us? Of course, uh, I mean, uh, the people, I love uh, the crowd and, and they love me too. And it's uh, something special for me when you're in the ring and you feel the vibes and they, they, they scream, they, they yell into you. And, I mean, it's, it's such a, like a nice, nice it's, a, it's something nice in, inside you that you can describe. Okay, guys, let's let's let yeah, let's let them go eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Celebrate a little bit. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here, boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God.